Okay, we're coming into turn six. Alyssa is all the way down to one hit point and has already used one healing surge. And we have all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, yeah, we're down to one hit point. We already used a healing surge on the last turn. We don't need to use one on this turn, but from the looks of things, we probably will need on the next one. So our options are move, attack, attack, move, move, move. And that's about it. So if we attack the skeleton, we're guaranteed to kill it because we can use our careful attack to just automatically deal one damage. That would be good because that would give us experience. But the bad thing is we would still have this trap down here. If we disable the trap, if we successfully disable the trap, that'll be nice to have that gone because it's going to do damage to us no matter what. So no matter what, we're dead, essentially, I think is what we're what we're looking at here. If, if, if we don't disable the trap, we're definitely dead. There's a chance the skeleton can attack us and miss. So I'm just thinking about what to do here, because we only have one hit point. We could move twice to get away, to get away from the, the trap, to get more than one tile away from the trap, but then we have a problem with the gargoyle, so we could, you know, move all the way up to this tile, but then the gargoyle that we ran away from is a problem. So I don't know, let's try to disable the trap. It's just uh, we have to get a 10 or higher. Fifteen. Okay. So maybe not the worst decision in the world. So instead of attacking, we uh, you know we used our attack action to disable a trap. So I'll just put uh, you know I'll put T here for trap. So the good thing is the trap is disabled. Uh, I guess we just clear it off the board or flip it over. I'll just clear it off the board. It'd be easier to have less clutter. So we'll discard the encounter card. It's done. We'll put the spear uh, over here. I don't think there's, I think there's only one of each type of trap, so I don't think we can get that one again. So good news, we disabled the trap, so we don't have to take that automatic damage. Um, we can move to go to an unexplored edge and, and pull up another tile, but kind of applying the same logic as last time, if we do that, we run the risk of getting another encounter uh, or moving the time track forward and definitely getting another monster. So the least evil here seems to be to stay put. So we are not going to move. We're just going to stay put. We're obviously not drawing a treasure card because all we did was disable the trap. Honestly, I don't know, actually. Come to think of it, I don't know if you get to draw a treasure card. I will check that in between turns. Because I don't think going forward it's gonna it's gonna affect anything. So I'll check that in between turns. If so, I'll I'll update this. We are not exploring, so there's no new tile, there's no new monster, but we do have a forced encounter. So let's see what kind of encounter we get. And we're dead, because no matter what, we're taking damage. Gray Ooze. A pseudopod emerges from a puddle of gray ooze on the ground and strikes at you. Attack the active hero. And there's basically no point in even rolling this. We only have one hit point. If the active hero is hit by the attack, the active hero discards one treasure card at random. So I guess... Technically, since there's a consequence of being hit, then we do we should we should still roll. Either way, we're dead. The only question is, do we die and lose a treasure, or do we just die? And of course, it hits. So we're dead. We take three damage, and we just go we go down to zero at this point. Alyssa's down. 
so we uh, we did get hit and we have to lose a treasure at random so so what I'll do is I'll roll a, D, a d20 uh, 1 through 10 we lose this one actually since I tend to roll low in my own cases maybe I should assign different values here let's say odds and evens odds we discard this one evens we discard this one let's go that route and it's an even it's a four so that was odd that was even kind of wish I'd done that the other way around now because I would rather get rid of that one to be honest but that's the way it came down so we are going to get rid of that card now we do have the uh, the gargoyle and the skeleton but the way the rules are written it says that when you uh, when you go down the monsters just ignore you and that makes perfect sense because you're already dead